wanted to show you my little camp stove that I made. Works really well. Heat and water. Not as efficient as the alcohol stoves or the propane or butane stoves, but I mean, the price is right. That cost me, oh, no, it didn't cost me anything because I ate the tomatoes. So I got a free can and uh, I got this little grill here that I made up years ago from one I picked up at a yard sale or something. Anyway, th th uh, these are really easy to make. Use your church key to put some holes in it. And then you have a hole to feed it. And this raises the, the pot material up. And for what I use, it works, it works pretty good. I'm going to make another one. This one out of a, a juice can. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is take off the label because once you get this thing cooking, you can have a nice little fire going. There. What I normally do. Save that, we're going to be using that later. And I'm going to put a few holes in it up top there. To assist in uh, ventilation. What I'm doing here basically is just running it around, just open these up, and I'm just going to squeeze these flat. Well, anyway, we have perforations in there. Now, what I want to do is I want to make a uh, a feeding hole, right, and uh, you can do this any number of ways. This is the feeding hole, okay, now what I'm also going to do I'm going to put a series of holes with the church key. Um, you don't have to use a church key. You can, you can punch them any way you want, really. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. And this, I have to tell you, is the... the well, what I think, anyway, is the what makes this stove really quite good. What we're going to do with this here is this is going inside the stove, and your fire is actually going to sit on this. So, basically, what I'm going to do is cut this off here and here. Be careful with this stuff, folks, because it's sharp. And take it from somebody who's hacked himself up on more than one occasion. What you got to do is you got to make little make little legs that will sit up. And this will allow airflow. Okay, 
once you got this made up, then you just sort of put it down inside. Now, if you can see in there, right, this little grill in here is just above these holes. So air will be sucked in through these holes and up under here. And uh, basically, that's the stove. Now, the only thing that we have to do now is to uh, set it up and do a brew up. is that whichever way the wind is blowing you can adjust this for more wind you put the the feeder in facing the wind or not depending on what you want to do all we're going to do is let this burn down a bit get her really really roasting and what's good about this you got the fire up off the ground so it's actually not sitting right on the ground like well, it's hot there, but it's not as hot as it would be as if we were sitting it right on the ground or right on something. What's good about a tin can stove, or what I really like about the tin can stove versus other stoves, and I've had, oh, I've had different ones, is that these particular stoves, they don't cost anything. It takes five to ten minutes to make one. Um, and fuel is everywhere. I mean, you, you know, you, you, you could be uh, uh, bugged out in the city. And you, 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 you could operate and find enough fuel in a city. You could burn cardboard in it. You could burn... Uh, old shingles, a a anything. I, I mean, you know, this is your basic hobo stove, and the hobos really knew what they were talking about. Um, I mean, they lived a life that was, well, uh, rough, and uh, they knew how to uh, do it. And, 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 you know, for a long time, I carried different types of stoves. And I like, I, you know, I, I, I gotta tell you, you know, uh, 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 an alcohol stove or a propane stove, there's nothing, nothing better. I mean, those things will whip up, but, uh, you know, this thing doesn't weigh anything. Right? It just doesn't weigh anything. I mean, this thing, you know, it's the same way with this one. This one's even smaller. Right? It's compact. You can store your whole kit, your, your whole mess kit in there. Right? Um... You know, so I've been using military meskins for a very long time. Um, started using them when I was a kid, when I was in the military. But uh, that's what I'm used to. Okay. Anyway. So this is my little stove. Is it perfect? No. Is it as good as a stove you pay 50 bucks for, 25 bucks for? I don't know. I don't know what they, they even cost these days. Right? No, it's not. But I got hot hot Java. All right, and uh, it's a great little rig. I mean, as you can see, there's a nice little flame going, and it absolutely cost me nothing. Ooh, bad. 